And I do believe that we have rotten, rotten politics, and I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. Hey everybody and welcome. In this video we're going to be having a look at the SNP, I know, <laughs> another one. This time we're going to be having a look at the blatant hypocrisy and complete political football the SNP are playing with every decision that's being made in the UK at the moment. Now, as you all probably know, I'm not happy for the fishermen in the UK with Boris's trade deal. I am going through it slowly to find any other things that we should be notified about, so keep your eyes open for the, any future videos. But in this one, Boris has, in my opinion, sold out the UK fishing. And Sturgeon immediately used it as a way to do some politicking and decided to state, are we ready for this, that Boris Johnson sold out Scottish fishing all over again. She took to Twitter and she wrote, The fact that many predicted it doesn't make it any less galling. The Tories have sold out Scottish fishing all over again. Well, this isn't all of it, by the way. There is other things. But I want to debunk this one. Nicola Sturgeon tried to sell Scottish fishing to the EU so that they would be forced to follow the common fisheries quota. She tried to tie the EU t to Scotland which would mean that the fishermen in Scotland would still be on the dreaded and hated by Scottish fishermen as well as everybody else, the CFP, the, the common fisheries. So this woman has got no room to speak, has she? Especially in regards to the fishermen. She wanted to sell out the fishermen. Granted, Boris has sell, sold out the fishermen, but to a, at a lesser extent than Sturgeon wanted to. She wanted to continue as you are now, Scotland. Are you listening, Scottish fishermen? She wanted to continue as the as you are now. No improvements whatsoever. No more of your fish to come back. No more of your fishing grounds to come back. Complete subservience. Also, let's not forget that the UK, i.e. taxpayer, has been paying billions to Scotland to help fight the Lurge. Yep, 8.2 billion so far. Of course, Sturgeon, being the political footballer that she is, decided to keep a billion of that money of UK taxpayers' cash to spend on an independence run. Yes, you heard that right. We're paying for this little ankle biter to gain independence. Cheeky, isn't she? And the SNP. Well, it seems that not only is she taking the mickey, but the Lurgy response in Scotland is taking the mickey. Now, you did hear me say before, didn't you? 8.2 million we've paid from the Uni United Kingdom taxpayer for help with the Lurgy, i.e. to help businesses keep afloat and to etc, etc. If you work that out, 8.2 billion, it works out at around about one and a half thousand pounds per person, per man, woman and child in Scotland has been handed money from the UK government, the union government to provide for you, which you would lose the instant you left. Has the EU provided any to the Scotland at the minute? Have they provided any to anyone at the minute? No, they haven't, have they? Now, it does sound good, that, doesn't it? I mean, at the moment, we've got roughly, according to the latest figures that were brought out in June 2019, there's 5,463,300 5, people living in Scotland. We gave 8.2 billion in guaranteed Barnet consequentials, which shows if you divide it, by every person in Scotland, that every single person in Scotland is being provided £1,501 for every man, woman and child in Scotland to tackle the Lurga. Now, let's not forget that out of that £8.2 billion, Nicola Sturgeon and the SNP are sitting on a billion of it. So instead of £1.5 thousand per every man, woman and child, it's actually because of Sturgeon, just Sturgeon, not because of the, Brit the English, not because of the, the UK government, because of Sturgeon personally and the SNP, you now actually get £1,317. She takes the rest. Do you feel happy at having your leader take money technically out of your pocket and out of your futures? Because that's exactly what this is, isn't it? So it's more hypocrisy from the wee cranky ankle biter, the woman that thought she could build a border where there is none. The sorry excuse for a devolved parliament and probably one of the reasons why it will de be abolished in the future, in my opinion. But let me know what you think, everyone. Do you think this is just more hits on the hypocritical scale of the SNP? Because I do. 
And here's one perfect example, one that I can guarantee the SMP won't, re won't like to be reminded about. Are we ready for this one? If it wasn't for the SNP voting with the Conservative Party in 1978, you ready? Margaret Thatcher wouldn't have got in. Yeah, that is correct. Margaret Thatcher wouldn't have got in without the SNP and SNP voters. So you're all technically Tories. <laughs> So she'd never have been Prime Minister since there was a vote of no confidence against the Labour Prime Minister, James Callaghan. Here's the vote. So as you can see, it was thanks to the SNP that Margaret Thatcher's vote of no confidence managed to win. And she later became Prime Minister thanks to the SNP. So thank you very much, everybody in Scotland. Technically, you're all Tories. Just thought I'd throw that one in there. Check my comments, everyone. See if the SNP voters have all gone all re on me. Because <laughs> I guarantee they will have done. But it's true, you don't like the truth. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon, share it out, everyone. I'll see you on the next one. Get rid of the SMP. Stay sane, I'll see you on the next one.